Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help. I don't hey, what's up, YouTube? Now, I have tried Google Cardboard before, but when I started using Oculus Rift, oh mama, epic AF. Okay, let me show you how you can set it up. First of all, you have to search for Oculus Setup in the Google. Then you need to download and install the Oculus software. There's not many options in the language selection, but anyway, that doesn't really matter. Of course, we accept the terms and conditions. Choosing a location for the apps. Choosing a location for the Oculus software as well. And now we just need to wait until it finishes with the download. Okay, now it's finished with downloading and installing as well. Next, now we have two options. Either we create an Oculus account or we can log in with our Facebook account. I'm just gonna log in with my Facebook account because that's easier for me. Okay, we have to give an Oculus username. It's like giving a name to your MMO character. All the names are taken. Carrying on. We can also set up a pin to approve purchases of VR games. We have to give our email address so it can confirm that it's you. And after you clicked on the link in your received email, this window should greet you. Continue. Oh look, I can change my profile picture. Perfect time to use my memes. Not bad. Not bad indeed. Okay, continue. Privacy settings. It lets you control what people can see about you. I think I didn't change this. Yep, moving on. We can give payment methods, either credit card or PayPal, and we can also skip this part. Oh yeah, in this part there is a small video which basically tells you to read the manuals before you use. Beware of your surroundings, designed for ages 13 plus, and on and on. Interesting stuff. This part is about health and safety. Of course acknowledge. Get to know your rift. Yes, next. Now it's asking to connect everything to the PC and it looks like it, everything is okay for me. Next. Choosing the input device. I've only got the touch controller at the moment. Next. Setting up and pairing the controllers. It tells you to hold those two buttons until it finishes with the pairing. Okay, moving on. A nice little map about all the buttons on the touch controller. Neat. Next. Testing the sensors. You also need USB 3.0 for the sensors. On the next page it's asking for the height of the user. It's only needed during the setup. Now placing the sensors can be a bit tricky. And you might as well fail for the first time just like I did. But don't worry, it will show you what you did wrong and you can easily fix it. So basically I'm doing the same as the woman on the bottom left corner. Setting up the sensors, holding my controller where it's visible to all sensors about eye level and squeezing the trigger button until it says OK. After that, releasing the trigger, pointing to the diagram and fail. Yep, that's what I was talking about. But hey, I succeeded for the second time. I just had to rotate the sensors a bit. Easy. All right, next. Setting up the Guardian system is important, not just for the games, but for your own safety as well. Basically, this is where you create your play area and your boundaries. If you get too close to your boundaries, a blue web will come up and warn you like Hey, move back to your place. N no, not really. It's just a web. I'm sorry. Anyway, try not to move your sensors. Otherwise, you will have to repeat the sensor setup. It's time for the headset. Before we put it on, we have to adjust the velcro straps. There's two on the side and one on the top. Okay, next. There is also a lens slider on the bottom of the headset, which will help us to improve the clarity in VR. Now, there is no next button. It says continue in headset, so it's time to enter the virtual world. First of all, there will be a basic tutorial about the touch controllers. Then, on the second part, there's gonna be the first contact with the VR games. But enough talking for me. Enjoy the show and watch how excited I will get even this part.
Welcome to Oculus. After this quick tutorial, you'll be ready to explore. Take a minute to look at the ground around you. The outlined space is your play area. It's time to learn about your Oculus Touch controllers. Get started by moving your hands around and familiarizing yourself with the buttons. Locate the grip buttons and squeeze them with your middle fingers. Next, use your index fingers to squeeze the triggers on your controllers. Now, try pressing all of the glowing buttons with your thumbs. Try moving around the thumbsticks. The thumbsticks can also be pressed in, like buttons. Press in on the thumbsticks until you feel them click. Now let's see what your virtual hands can do. See what happens when you move your fingers and press the different buttons. To make a fist, squeeze the grip with your middle finger and hold it down. To point, keep squeezing the grip and lift just your index finger. Now, look at the three spheres. Point at each sphere. Again, squeeze the grip button and lift your index finger. Great job! That covers the basics of your touch controllers. The opening in front of you will transport you to an entirely new virtual space. Reach out with your hands to enter Rift.
that's about it. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic experience. If you want to see more VR related stuff or if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section down below. I would appreciate if you could help me out with my affiliate program. There is a link in the description if you want to check out the Oculus Rift. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you are a fan. My name is Tori, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Too many thoughts on my mind, I can't sleep at night, so I just keep writing. I don't need no help, I don't need opinions, so don't waste my time then. I just been living online, my city don't show me no love and that's fine. Fuck local radio stations, I got more plays than all of these rappers combined. I'm going, I'm going again, I've been going in, I'm fed up with so many things. I gotta just let it all out, I'm talking about the shit that